Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead, Dead City. We are here to do our video predictions video for what is already the penultimate episode for Season 1 of Dead City. There is no way they're getting off this island. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today. This one's going to be doing a review for The Walking Dead, Dead City. We are here to do our predictions video for what already is the penultimate episode. Why is it going by so fucking fast? <laughs> of Dead City. This is for episode 5. Um, very, very excited guys. We have two episodes left of Dead City. I just still am in, in awe about episode four, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, that episode, especially Simon, you know what I mean? That was just, oh, that was so good. Um, but, um, yeah, okay, so episode five, let's get back on track. So, this episode looks absolutely phenomenal. Again, like, this episode looks like it could even be better than episode, you know, four. Um, I love me some horror, I love me some zombies, and this episode... Holy shit, this looks like fun. Uh, so we've got Maggie, we've got Tommaso, we've got uh, Amaya, and we've got Jenny who are traveling through the sewers of New York City, which in its in of itself is a scary concept, right? New York City traveling through the sewers of that crap? Yeah, that's not good. And, you know, we've heard dialogue throughout a lot of these episodes lately that you know, the sewers are filled with a whole bunch of zombies that, like, you know, you really shouldn't go down there. They've mentioned it a few times throughout this show, and it's intentional setup, I think, for sure, because this episode looks absolutely insane. It appears like they go down there, and nothing goes right. I mean, Maggie looks like she's in rough shape at one point. It looks like she may even get lost from, from the others. Um... I don't know if we're going to lose anybody this episode. Maybe Amaya could die, but, like, I don't know. Um, I doubt they would kill Tommaso because they just did a, a foreshadow with him, like, kind of like a, uh, you know, a close call type of scene. But um, maybe Amaya could die. You know what I mean? I, I could see them doing that out of nowhere because, you know, again, Dead City is such an insane series so far. So many unpredictable moments and so many kind of moments that, you know, just shock you. And I, I think that's what makes the show so good is that it's it's actually going back to the early days of Walking Dead where stuff is unpredictable. Stuff is so damn unpredictable that you can't even, you know, barely tell, which is why I like doing these videos. But um, in addition to that, we've got that major zombie that they run into in the sewers who completely attacks Maggie. Um, I don't know how the hell she's going to fight that thing off on her own, but it's going to be probably one of the greatest sequences I've ever seen. I, I mean, it already looks amazing. I can't imagine what that scene's going to be like next week when they actually do it. Um, like some Resident Evil type of shit right there. So I'm excited as hell to see that. Like that scene looks absolutely spectacular. But in addition, we've also got the Croat. We've got um, this uh, new character that he runs into, which I think is an alliance for sure. That's why he's going to her. And this is the actress that plays um, Darlene in the Ozarks, which is an incredible actress. She's a really amazing actress. Uh, she plays a, a villain in Ozark, again, uh, who is uh, named Darlene. Um, and, you know, that actress is, is amazing. I remember seeing her in the trailer for this show uh, when this show was first, uh, you know, uh, announced with its, its trailer and stuff like that. And... Um, it's going to be cool. Now, I think she's definitely going to be a problem because it appears like Croat is going to her for help. So she's probably going to be either... Either Croat's going to die in the finale and then she'll be the main villain or she's a throw-off character and she's just going to be like a one-episode thing. Um, which wouldn't shock me at all because, again, this show is is just so outrageous, you know. Um, it does things that you would never expect. I mean, that's what's so amazing about it. But, um, yeah, so that'll be cool to see her. I'm very excited to see what her role is going to be and, and how she's treated on the show. Uh, they've got a powerhouse actress, so I'm, I'm very, very excited to see that. And you've also got the uh, Armstrong plot with Negan. Uh, it appears like they're kind of like stuck in a bus or something out on the road. So that's going to be really cool. And overall, this episode, I think what really just blows my mind about this episode from the looks of it is that it's just zombie heavy. It's just zombies are the threat again. You know what I mean? And... It feels like Croat's kind of like just a setup thing, you know, for the finale. Um, this episode looks zombie heavy. It looks really, really intense. Uh, and it looks like what The Walking Dead is about. It looks like what The Walking Dead used to provide 
many, many years ago, and I'm very, very excited to see what they do, because though it's going to probably feel like classic Walking Dead to have zombies as the main focus, it's also going to be very new Walking Dead, because we're going to have like Resident Evil type friggin' zombies in this crap, so I think this is going to be one of the banger episodes, this might even be the best episode, depending on how they do this, but um, it's going to be hard to beat the Simon, uh, Simon cameo, but again, we'll have to see what they do, this episode looks really extraordinary, so anyway, let me know in the comment section below, are you excited for the penultimate episode of The Walking Dead, Dead City? Leave that down uh, in the comment section below. Leave your comments about episode 4. We will be doing some Q&A stuff coming up this week, but I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I hope you guys enjoy the predictions, and uh, check out the review if you haven't seen it yet. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, guys, and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click to subscribe and tune miss any other videos of The Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys, and of course, I will see you guys really soon for another video for The Walking Dead, Dead City. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace. Peace out.